Mobilize.net, your app, new again. Remember Visual Basic 6.0? Many applications created with this wildly popular programming language are still running. Here's a typical VB application, a database system for a seafood wholesaler. It keeps track of orders, customers, inventory, and invoices. The database is from Microsoft Access. Data-bound controls like this grid control are very common in these kinds of apps. Trapped on the desktop, today these legacy apps are obsolete. They need to support the new multi-device mobile workforce. Let's migrate it to HTML to get it off the desktop. First, we'll migrate it to C Sharp, then to HTML. We'll use the Visual Basic Upgrade Companion for step one. We'll load our VB6 project into the VBUC. A new project will be created for our .NET version. VBUC has found all project references. You can see and adjust all the migration options here. Select the Web Map option. Confirm your migration options. Now we can begin the migration. The VBUC migrates all the VB code to C Sharp, the runtime to .NET, and the forms to Windows Forms. All names and comments are preserved. The migration only takes a few minutes. Now we have a completely new version for .NET, Let's build and run it. Here's our new .NET version. Notice it looks very faithful to the original version. If you only need a modern desktop version, you can stop here. We've converted all the VB forms to Win forms. ADO has been migrated to ADO.NET. All the OCX components have been converted to .NET native classes. Now let's convert this version to HTML and create a responsive, modern web version. We begin by logging into studio.mobilize.net. We want to create a new WebMap3 migration. The first step is to download a little assessment wizard that will analyze your .NET application for the migration to HTML. The assessment tool is automatically downloaded. It's a click once application that doesn't get permanently installed on your machine. We'll select the Visual Studio solution file we just created in a previous step. We can rename this to something more meaningful. The program will crawl your source tree and capture metadata about the size of the application, what components are used, and the other information. We upload the metadata to our analysis engine in Microsoft Azure. We do not upload any source code. Here's the results of our analysis. WebMap lets you create web applications using either Kendo UI from Talaric or AngularJS. This report shows you the overall readiness to migrate to either of those, depending on what you select. Let's migrate this app to AngularJS. You have a couple of options for the migration. For now, let's leave these set to the defaults. In order to run a trial migration, you have to upload your source files. Put all files into a zip archive. Drag and drop a zip file into the browser window. Then click the Migrate button. We queue your migration as a job on Azure. Depending on the size of the queue, you should see it start quickly. 
Once it's complete, you'll be notified by email and the browser window will refresh. Now you can compare the .NET version with the new Angular HTML version. You can see line-by-line -line changes on some of the files. And now you can preview what some forms look like in HTML. If you like the migration, you can purchase it and download the entire source code tree. Let's do that for our demo app. After downloading and unzipping, we can open the solution file in Visual Studio. Since this is one of our demo apps, you can also download the full migrated app and try it out. Your new app contains a lot of helper classes. These are written in C-sharp and are all in source code, not binary form. Let's look at the architecture of the app now. We created an ASP.NET MVC single page application. For each of our original VB forms, we now have several files including a controller, a model, and a view. Remember this is MVC, that is Model View Controller. Let's build and run it on Chrome. First you'll see NuGet update all the dependencies. Next it will open a browser window on localhost. Splash screen? Check. Data bound controls? Check. Responsive design? Check. Using the Visual Studio's Publish Wizard, we can move the whole thing to Azure and run it on the cloud. We'll import a profile file for all the settings. Here we see our newly published cloud version running on an iPad, from VB6 to iOS in less than an hour. Not bad. Mobilize.net. Your app. New. Again.